from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the da Daily TV Mass. I'm Father John Berteo. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from two donors. The first is an anonymous donor from St. Julius Parish in St. Catharines, Ontario. In loving memory of her husband on the 13th anniversary of his passing and in thanksgiving for the Daily TV Mass. The second is an anonymous donor from Vancouver, British Columbia, for her family to have a strong faith in God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass that we begin with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your spirit. As we gather from all parts of the world for the celebration of the Eucharist, let us ask our loving God, to forgive us our failures so we, can pay, so we can celebrate this Mass with a clear and contrite heart. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to, to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia. Cyprus and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who, on coming to Antioch, spoke to the Hellenites, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year, they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name clarify, testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> this past Sunday, we honored and many celebrated with their moms, Mother's Day, and also, of course, we prayed for vocations. This Friday, May 13th, yes, lucky May 13th, most of the Catholics around the world will celebrate the, Memor the Mar Marian apparitions in Fatima, Portugal, the first one in 1917. So two dates that we should give thanks for, especially the one when we pray for vocations, opening ourselves to have more dedicated men and women to serve the church, and of course, for all mothers. We all have or had a mom. You see, the church needs committed men and women to serve the church through the consecrated life or the, the priesthood as well. And we should always, always pray for all mothers who nourished us from the moment of conception. Let me ask you a question. Maybe you think, just think of it for yourselves. Would you consider yourself to be a person of courage? If I have any courage, if I practice any courage, I learned it from my parents, who in turn learned it from their parents my grandparents, who were both poor, humble, but courageous in always helping others. So are you gifted with the courage, for example, of St. Barnabas, who sold his land to give it to the early church? Great courage, great confidence, and great faith. Or also, again, St. Barnabas, who befriended Paul, Paul, who was notorious in killing those who had embraced the Christian faith. 
Some years ago, I was very blessed to be invited on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land with a, a fairly large family. It was about, I believe, 12 people. They were ranging from ages to a teenager, 15, 14, to others who were 60 or better. As you can imagine, the younger generations, they, uh, <laughs> they, they easily got bored because they saw so many churches, so much explanation. The tour guide was great, but he could not just keep their attention all the time. I too would get tired every once in a while of hearing these beautiful accounts, but it's tiring to go and just follow one person all the time. Two, two events that uh, caught my attention. The first was the church of Antioch. We went into the church and uh, I went in there and we all went in, of course, enthusiastically. Our guide, who was a Christian, goes, you see, this is why we first were called Christians. And I looked around and I'm thinking, it's so dark. It's so sort of unkept. It's so humid. And I slowly pulled back from the group and I walked out. I was way too uncomfortable. And so I snuck out. And as soon as I walked out the door, I saw the people in these beautiful streets just walking around, families gathering, talking, and so on, and people in the outdoor cafes. And just, it was a beautiful scene. And on the other side was the beautiful blue ocean, just so inviting, so tranquil. It, the weather was just perfect, just perfect. So I, I began to daydream about the people of antiquity, like 2,000 years ago, and sometime after that, when they gathered there, probably coming from the ocean, from the shore, probably coming from inland, to maybe find out what these people called Christians were doing. This cosmopolitan center had, of course, pagans who could now tell the difference between the group of believers such as Judaism and pagan cults, now referred to as Christians. According to our guide, of course, this was still the case during our visit. It was still happening. And the second occurrence was that when I was out there sort of again daydreaming, a woman uh, approached me. She was by herself, and I thought I was all alone. And she asked me, uh, sir, are you a Christian? Can you spare some change? My custom is I don't give out money. I don't spare change. I don't give out money. So I invited her to follow me to one of the outdoor cafes, and I offered to buy her a meal, whatever she wanted. With a surprised look in her face, I guess nobody had done that before. She followed me, went to the cafe, and I said, my new friend would like some food. Please give her whatever she wishes, and I will pay you for it. I left, and there she was, sitting in an outside cafe, having her lunch. Later on, as we were, got together as a group again, a, the youngest uh, and I call him the youngest rebel in the group, came to me later on and said, Father John, you're so cool. What? Yeah, you're so cool. I had no idea that he, had, he saw me what I was doing. I looked at him and said to him, I'll call him Frank. Frank, and what's stopping you from being so cool? If that was cool, you too can do it. Anybody can do it. Friends, our faith is clarified. It's practiced and matured through our experiences, provided we keep Christ at the center of everything we do, without an agenda, but Christ in the center. After all, we all have good days and some not so bad days. I have them too. Yet, our faith will help us when we too experience those not so good days. Don't stop and just turn them into yourself. Instead, get out of yourself. Help someone, whoever it might be.
go for a walk if you can. If you can't, pick up the phone and call somebody and tell them that you care about them, that you are thinking about them. You see, all it takes is a little bit of courage, a lot of faith. And with those in turn, you too can be the best for yourself, for others, and then it bounces back on you. All you need to do is not to give up. Never, never give up, no matter how low you may be. Don't give up. Bring yourself up. Rely on Christ. Take courage. And most of all, be cool. God bless you. Please join us, we pray, for all of those in the Daily TV Mass community that have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book. We pray for all young people called to live life to the fullest. May they see in Mary's life the way to listen, the depth of discernment, and the courage that faith generates, and the dedication of service or to service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For Francis, our Pope, and all our bishops guiding us in the ways of Christ and his church, we pray to the Lord. For those afraid of claiming to be followers of Christ, take courage, trust, we pray to the Lord. Lord our that more men and women commit themselves to the service of the church in the consecrated life or the priesthood of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord our For an end to abortion on demand, we pray to the Lord. For the sponsors of this daily TV Mass from St. Catharines, Ontario, and Vancouver, British Columbia, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who consider themselves Christians, may they follow Christ fully, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Mary's very special blessing upon all mothers and on us, both on earth and in heaven. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with you, goodness, have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. 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 Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with you, goodness, or receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord. With humble spirit, I'm asking the sight to stay be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of the to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, we come with Paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, let us say from the heart, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Wherever you are, with company or alone, I offer you God's peace in a very special way.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.